Sign up to the SBR Network and use your free daily bet points to earn real-world prizes. Click on the page and start winning now. What's happening? Welcome to SBRForum.com. In this video, we're taking a look at Game 4 between the Montreal Canadiens and the New York Rangers. Now, the Montreal Canadiens survived Game Number 3. And all of a sudden, it looks like we've got a little bit of a series going. Now, I think a lot of people wrote off the Habs after Carey Price went down and they lost the first two games of the series at home. But they showed their resilience in game number three. Now, let's take a look at game number three in particular. When I talk about resilience, not only did they get off the mat uh, in terms of the series, you know, they needed game three more than anything. But you take a look at how the game played out and it was different than games one and two. Rangers scored first. They scored early, they scored in the first period, and if you take a look at the other two games when the Rangers scored first, uh, or pardon me, when the Rangers had a lead, I guess you can't say scored first because they scored first in game one, that was pretty much a wrap when they got up early. Uh, game two, when uh, you know when they tied the game uh, with Montreal and then got the lead, it was, it was basically a wrap. What I'm trying to say is Montreal has not been good playing from behind in this series until game number three. That's when everything changed. Trailing early, they showed some great resilience. Markov scores the second period goal. They go up ahead three, uh, two, or pardon me, two one in the third period. The Rangers tie it, you know, late in the game, and you figure, okay, that's it for Montreal. They're going to overtime. It's in Madison Square Garden. But Montreal again showing their resilience, coming back, getting the win uh, quickly in overtime. And uh, that shows to me that this is a team that's going to fight and they figured out a way to protect Dustin Tokarski uh, between the pipes and they figured out a way to beat Henrik Lundqvist and they figured out a way uh, to dominate the Rangers or at least to play with the Rangers um, because this is a team, the Habs, that have dominated the Rangers over the last couple of years and that had not been the case in games one and two. So what do we see for game number four? Well, look, I think the momentum is with Montreal. I mentioned the fact uh, that when the series shifted to New York, that the Rangers are not a great home team, uh, just 20 and 21 at home this year. You know, I like the resilience of the Habs. I like their effort in game number three. They played discipline finally, uh, as the Rangers' power play is complete trash, but you don't want to give them extra opportunities because they, they've actually started to click with the man advantage. So the Habs really trimmed that down. Uh, you know, they took advantage of their opportunities and uh, really played a disciplined game. So I like that. I like the fact that Dustin Tokarski played well. You know, it was really the second game in a row that he played well. Uh, game number two, he played pretty well, but you know, a couple of unlucky bounces is really what beat him. Game number three, he played even better. Uh, the Habs found a way to protect him a little bit. So I like all these things going into game number four. You get the Habs as a bit of a road dog, and I think that they get the win and even up the series, believe it or not. I really think that game three was a game changer, uh, a tide turner, whatever cliche you want to use. The Habs could have thrown in the, the towel a number of times, down one nothing. Uh, when, that, when the Rangers tied it at the end of uh, Game 3 in overtime, they could have thrown in the towel. They did not. I think it's really an important win for them. A really big confidence booster. They now believe in Tokarski. They believe they can win with him. Uh, and I think they're going to be a little bit more relaxed in Game Number 4 and tie up this series as uh, we shift back to uh, Montreal. I don't know if they win this series, but I think they win Game 4. Uh, and at least give themselves a shot to at least, with home ice advantage, uh, get back into this thing and uh, possibly, still possibly, make the Stanley Cup Finals. One thing at a time, Game 4. I like the Habs here, um, and I think that uh, maybe the over is another good play. I know we didn't get the over as predicted in Game Number 3. We've got a push, but I think the Rangers have shown they can at least get a couple pucks behind Tokarski. Habs are going to need to do the same. Again, I think we get at least a push, maybe an over uh, in this matchup. Thanks for watching this video right here on SBRForum.com. We'll talk to you again very soon. Thank you.